M. Night Shyamalan is back with a new movie, and it might be his darkest one yet. Do you dare to let it inside? Here's everything we know about Knock at the Cabin. M. Night Shyamalan's new horror film Knock at the Cabin will break into movie theaters on February 3, 2023. The director confirmed the release date with a nine-second clip in October 2022, followed by a poster in November 2022, one depicting four menacing individuals armed to the teeth looming outside a tiny cabin. Shyamalan tweeted along with the poster, They're coming. I wouldn't answer the door if I were you. But who are these spooky strangers, and what exactly do they want? My name's Leonard. It's nice to meet you. While M. Night Shyamalan usually generates original material, he has occasionally adapted other people's works, a la the infamous Last Airbender and his most recent thriller, Old. Similarly, Knock at the Cabin is based on a novel by Paul G. Tremblay, The Cabin at the End of the World. According to CNBC, the fact that Cabin is based on Tremblay's book was kept secret for an extended period of time, presumably to prevent giving away the film's premise before Shyamalan and his producers were ready. Shyamalan and the film's marketing have still shied away from revealing certain elements of the story, yet have shared an official logline for the plot and a trailer that gives us a taste of the mayhem to come. The logline reads, a gay couple and their adopted daughter have their cabin invaded by four strangers who take the family captive and tell them that, to prevent the upcoming apocalypse, one of them must be killed by the others. And this is exactly what we see in the trailer released by distributor Universal Pictures on September 22nd. However, there is one huge question that looms over everything. Are these four people just crazy sadistic torturers, or do they truly possess advanced knowledge of a coming apocalypse? And if so, are they right to force the family to make the ultimate sacrifice? If you fail to choose, the world will end. Without a doubt, the most famous actor involved with Knock at the Cabin is Dave Bautista of Guardians of the Galaxy fame. The wrestler turned actor will star as Leonard, the hulking yet quiet leader of the group that's forcing a family to make a horrible choice. Speaking to The Hollywood Reporter about their upcoming collaboration, M. Night Shyamalan recounted how Batista's encounter with Ryan Gosling's character in Blade Runner 2049 is what drew him to the actor. Shyamalan explained, I didn't know who he was at that time, and he stuck in my head. So when this script came, I was like, there seems to be the one guy who can play this giant human being and do the stillness. So I asked Dave. The remaining three members of Batista's group will be rounded out by Rupert Grint, Nikki Amuka Bird, and Abby Quinn. Grint, of course, is most famous for playing Ron Weasley in the Harry Potter franchise. He's also the star of Shyamalan's Apple TV Plus series, Servant. Amuka Bird also has previous Shyamalan experience, starring in the director's aging horror flick, Old, as well as projects like Jupiter Ascending, The Outfit, and Avenue 5. As for Quinn, she's appeared in TV shows like Better Call Saul and movies like 2019's Little Women. So who will be playing the poor family beset by armed cultists? Well, Jonathan Groff of Mindhunter, Hamilton, and The Matrix Resurrections will be starring as Andrew. He'll be taking a trip to the titular cabin with Ben Aldridge of Pennyworth and Fleabag, who will be playing Andrew's husband, Eric. Their young daughter, Wen, will be played by Kristen Choi. This will be Choi's first acting project, and as Shyamalan is particularly skilled with getting great performances out of young actors, we're sure the young performer will absolutely steal the show. M. Night Shyamalan has had quite the interesting run over the past few years. What was your mistake? Trusting me? Depending on me thinking that I could do this? Coming off a stream of serious bombs, the filmmaker resuscitated his career with sleeper hits like Split and The Visit, while also offering more controversial titles like Glass and Old. Now he's bringing his unique sensibilities to knock at the cabin, and he seems incredibly excited about venturing down this new, twisted path. Speaking with Total Film, Shyamalan said about the movie, I'm drawn to things that take genres and bend them in new ways or change genres from what you thought you were watching. The architectural twist is part of the fun. So expect this home invasion thriller to go in some strange directions, as Shyamalan always has a few dastardly tricks up his proverbial sleeve. Generally, M. Night Shyamalan writes all his scripts by himself, putting his unique stamp on the screenplays for movies like Split, The Visit, and The Sixth Sense. And yes, he did indeed work on Knock at the Cabin, adding his own signature style and tightening things, getting the script down to less than 100 pages. However, while Shyamalan rewrote the script, he wasn't the only one who originally penned the screenplay. The first version of Knock at the Cabin was written by the duo of Steve Desmond and Michael Sherman. Their script landed on the 2019 Blacklist, a collection of the most talked about unmade movies in Hollywood before making its way to Shyamalan. 
While M. Night Shyamalan is a master at creating horror, the filmmaker generally makes movies that can be appreciated by a wide range of ages. Movies like The Sixth Sense, Unbreakable, Signs, and Split are all rated PG-13. Up until now, Shyamalan has only had one film that's rated R, The Happening. It's a film about plants causing people to commit suicide, and the fact that it earned the big bad R played a pretty sizable factor in the film's marketing. However, The Happening needs to move over and make way, as it's no longer Shyamalan's only R-rated movie. Knock at the Cabin now also boasts an R rating for violence and language, according to MovieWeb. If you've read Paul G. Tremblay's source material, this should come as no surprise. The Cabin at the End of the World is an incredibly dark tale, and while it's not as gory as a slasher, the violence and torture is disturbing, and hits incredibly hard due to the emotions and stakes at play. 